Dinosaurs now may have gone extinct about roughly 65 million years ago. But what if I told you that some of their closest relatives are still alive today being birds and reptiles? Now, we're not going to just be looking at any group of reptiles. They were going to be looking at one of my favorite groups of reptiles, which are anoles. They were going to talk about some of the most ancient, some of the most craziest looking anoles my friend you may have ever seen in your whole lifetime. They're going to have some crazy behaviors, bold appearances, and maybe they might have some very interesting mysteries held on inside that genetic code of them. Now, folks, after that very uh, nerdy intro, we're going to, well, obviously discuss why this video is being made real quick. So if you're up to current events, I hope this video comes out on time, knock on wood. We're going to be making this video in the theme, if you guessed by the thumbnail. Uh, in the theme of the Primitive War video because, not video, Primitive War movie, my bad, because it's a cool movie, um, I just want some love to be shown here for it, it's a good movie, um, small, mind you it's small, made in Australia, so, you know, I just like dinosaur movies, only one franchise does it well, we all know who it is with Jurassic Park, and let's be honest, they're not the best as they were, uh, a long time ago, so I just want to you know, glaze this movie a little bit. So yeah, let's talk about anoles. Anyways, our first anole out of the free today is going to be Anolis oculatus. To be more exact, folks, it's gonna be Anolis oculatus Winstoni, one of my favorites of the little group, right? Now these anoles have a certain look to them. They kind of look like you took a part of the starry night sky and ripped it off like your Gear 5 Luffy with your Toon Force abilities. And, you know, I mentioned the spots, Starry Night, etc, etc, but I didn't even get to mention the fact that they have self-in structures on their tails that's very similar to Anolis Farius, which I love. I, I love that. I love self-ins on Anolis. But, you know, we all got the glaze, the appearance, we gotta talk about, you know, how they look, etc, etc. Let's get into the sciencey part of this now. Now, Anolis oculatus, we're gonna, by the way, into the whole video, they're gonna be referred to as this because why am I gonna say that whole boom you know, every second, right? So, Anolis oculatus is endemic to Dominica, you know, which uh, genetic studies suggest that they arrive via overwater dispersal, probably from Marconi or Guadalupe a few million years ago, which is really interesting. There's a couple of Anoles in this room itself that came from. Now, guys, Something that's really interesting with this anole is that they share a common ancestry with some of the most popular anoles in the reptile hobby today, which would be Anolis marmoratus, which you see probably close neck and neck with Anolis roquette, and well, the next one, which so happens to be Anolis roquette. Fun fact for you guys, Anolis marmoratus uh, is somewhat related to Anolis fairies to the point where they can even hybridize. So interesting stuff if you ask me. Now, the information, the data that suggests all this is that, you know, these animals all essentially had a common ancestor that is suggested to have a split off from each other uh, in the mid to late Miocene era. I think I'm saying it right. It's on the screen if it's not. About five to ten million years ago, separation shaped their paths. Now, folks, we're going to be moving somewhere to the mainland all the way in Ecuador. We're going to be talking about Anolis Fresher. It's on the screen. I'm, I'm not sure if that one's being pronounced. I'm, I don't talk about this species often because obviously they're not like a common thing. So I'm not going to say it in my common speech if you catch my trip. But real quick, back to where they're found. You know, they're not just found in Ecuador. They can also be found in Colombia and possibly Istens in the Northern Peru. Mind you, mostly in like the border. So like, boop, boop. You get what I'm saying? Like they're like, a handful here and here. Now, this fun scientific word that I know I cannot uh, pronounce, so I'm gonna butcher it because that's the joy of a Royal Knowles channel video, <laughs> is molecular phi ale. It's on the screen. I've, but you know, that, in, that field, right? That field of information, field of whatever, suggests that the uh, dicote landed. The Dicote, I, I can't pronounce this one either, so it's going to go on the screen. My bad. You know, Linnaeus diverged roughly about 30 to 40 million years ago during the Al Al Altachine. There's going to be a lot of butchering in this part. It's on the screen, by the way. When anoles were spreading widely, like 
whoosh, whoosh, by the way, like boom. Widely in South America, disappearing from the Caribbean, which is really interesting stuff. This means, though, that Anolis Fresher, as a distinct lineage, folks, woo, could be roughly, mind you, roughly 10 to 15 million years old. That exact estimate is depending on the data set. You know, who's studying this, what information they have on hand, it changes, which is interesting because. Uh, we know how old they could be as a distinct lineage, which is really interesting because the oldest unknown null fossil is the exact same age being 10 to uh, 15 million years ago. Folks, guess what? It's the time of the video where I start to beg you folks to sub, like, share the video to all your friends and family. If you don't, that's cool, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess it's cool, but yeah, if you if you don't do it, cool, but you really should, because we're doing cool stuff over here, and all promotion is good promotion, most of the time. Knock on wood. Now, folks, we just got done with our first two picks. We did the sub-begging part like every proper Royal and Knowles video has. Now, we're going to go all the way to Cuba, where it's home to some of my favorite Knowles on the planet. Yes, I see you in an Alyssa Deglaris. The camera does not see you though, and I don't feel like playing with it. You know, where some of my very first annuls came from, well, worked with wise, all that fun stuff. English, yeah. Which is gonna be Anolis Smallwood Eye. Now folks, these are one of the smaller Cuban crown giants, but hold a extremely special place in my heart, even though they might uh, not be doing the same. These annuls are some of my earliest annul projects. In fact, I believe they were my, um, either my third or second project, either being my, uh, small what I or Sabanus. It, it basically is like, which one? You know what I mean? I've been working with this species and this pair. I'm only having the mail out because that was chaos last time. Uh, all the way since they were a little baby pair doing young and old stuff. Now, uh, let's nerd out and talk about the evolutionary aspect of this species. Now, folks, it is believed that um, Cuban giant anoles are believed to diverge from like most of the other big name anole species, all this and that, about 5 to 15 million years ago, where ecological opportunities and the greater uh, anatlids drove a major ad 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 anole evolution. Ad uh, rapid radiation it's on the screen the in short terms thanks to uh again another butched word i'm gonna say which is molecular molecular philology genes uh, we know this yeah we know this because of that that word i can't ever say but you know only cool thing about small what i is that these anoles are only found in eastern cuba right where with uh luto glaris their much larger cousin is found in western cuba now, it's believed that the reason we have Smallwood Eye today is because of thanks to all the crazy little mountain structures that is so famous in eastern Cuba that basically they were kind of like trapped over there and they said, hey man, I huh, guess we better start evolving or start getting these spots and stuff. Look all these spots. Let's make some spots. Oh, my bad. I said male earlier. I should have said female. Just realized how dumb I look. But folks, this is just one, one, I mind you, one of the 65 fully described species of anoles in Cuba. Mind you, there's literally an undescribed species right here that I'm looking at trying to climb on the roof of their enclosure that I'm going to be putting back uh, down after this is done being filmed, right? So if you want to learn more, guess what? Go ahead and watch this video where we're going to be busting some of the, you know, So folks, you know, if you learned that much about a Knowles Day, how about you sit down and learn about five reptiles you never knew existed. So give that video a watch. 